Let's talk about the crazy thing that happened with Kick. So most re- this this week, uh, XQC son- signed a non-exclusive contract for two years with Kick for a hundred million dollars. That is more money than LeBron James makes playing for the Lakers. Okay, so that's oh, a man. lot of money, a lot okay, of big yeah. money. Um, with him moving over to Kick and stream uh, streaming there. It broke Kick. Kick went down for a while. Like a lot of people weren't able to log into Kick. So I, I didn't stream on Friday. So I didn't know how it was, but I wasn't even able to log into Kick using my app. Yep. So it was pretty bad. But most recently, most recently, uh, we got another big name that went over. We got another big, big name that went over to Kick, and it's Amaranth. Okay, so this is from Jake Lucky on Twitter. One day after XQC signed with Kick, they have now also signed Amaranth. So, like, we're not sure if this if this was earlier if if this was true because this was released at five o'clock. So, if you go down, the quartering said, "Did she sign with them or just started uh, start streaming there?" I haven't seen any official statements. And then Amaranth responded, "Yes, oh. signed deal, etc." So it's for sure now. It's like one hundred percent. Uh, percent sure. So if you actually go over to her, go over to her account. Uh, here it is. This is the one I want to talk about. She has the rocks number. <laughs> hey, so the hundred million dollar deals have started. Can I get one of those? I know some of you guys are uh, are subscribed to her. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's everything. What? That was crazy how she announced that. That was actually pretty well done, right? Hey. So. So, okay, let's go in. Oh, oh, oh there's more. That $100 million deal. Whose kick do I have to suck? <laughs> <laughs> God damn. God damn. But yeah, it's official, right? It's official. She even said it over here four hours ago. So, man, with the Twitch thing that recently happened where they released this thing where they're talking about, oh, we're actually going back to 70 30 now. Well, you can only go back to 70 30 if you make a specific amount of money. So I believe you need to have 300 subscribers and it can't be a gifted subscriber and it can't be a Twitch primer. It has to be natural subscriptions. So that's 300 subscribers, right? Uh, so that's a month. But once you make, um, it's, it's basically that, I believe is that much. And then you have to make, uh, you have to stream a good amount of time and you have to, uh, make over a certain amount of money and it's then you can get partnered. So it's like 70, 30 with an asterisk, right? So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty sleazy and it makes, makes me wonder how many more people is going to switch over, right? We do know that kick is fronted by a gambling company, right? They, 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 they invested in a lot of gambling. Aiden Ross is like one of the highest viewers there. He was, he gets anywhere from like 40,000 to 50,000 people watching him gamble. But the thing is that Kick is also very lenient. And that's on top of the, um, the supposed $16 an hour that they're trying to put out. So, um, Gray, do you think that moving forward, Twitch is going to be hemorrhaging money? And uh, do you think Kick is actually going to be able to sustain this? And do you think that Twitch is Kick's best employee? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's like Twitch... Twitch has been hemorrhaging for forever. So it's like it's come to the that's the reason why they every policy they make, it's it's a shit policy. It's because Amazon's knocking. Hey, give me money already. I want you to be profitable already. So mm. no way on earth are they gonna compete with with kicks 100 M deals per large content creator. That's not gonna happen. The $16 an hour per streamer, that's not gonna happen either. So I don't know what Twitch can do at this point. 
I don't know what they can do to stop the um loss of their top top earners. Yeah, think think of what you will with Amaranth. Think of what you will with these large cre- content creators. But they're admittedly you have to admit that they bring in the money. They're the ones mm-hmm. bringing in the money. So uh yeah, Twitch is kind of like yeah, it's a sinking ship. So any content creators or aspiring content creators on Twitch, save for those who are already established and their main markets really Twitch, then stay. But if you don't really have that audience yet, kind of like me and Phil, we, we don't really have the, a lot of viewers. So uh, already set uh, set the um, start building your brand or build your presence in other platforms like YouTube, Rumble, Rumble. Those are my top two actually over Kick because Kick only take advantage of Kick short term. Like take advantage of the sixteen dollars per hour wage. So if that stops, then you go ahead. You get you can stop too. But yeah. in terms of long, your long-term prospects, Twitch is not the place to go anymore. Maybe it was t- ten years ago, not anymore. It's not. It's not viable. They're, Amazon wants them to get a return, or else they will close them down. But it's just. It's just a. It's just a Thanos snap for Amazon. It's like, okay, you're you're losing too much money. I had enough. You're you're gonna close down, like Microsoft yeah. with Mixer. There's no way. I do not see a way for Twitch to be able to fight back against the the money that kick is putting in so if you want something more sustainable i would go like i i did with my main channel i moved it to youtube then for as for the kick i will temporarily take advantage of it like the, through the egg roll gaming channel but mm-hmm. that's about it yeah um yeah so but the it's just that twitch has a really really strong branding right now and a lot of the cr- creators there are just not abreast of the situation they're not aware of how dire it is or how bad it is, or they don't have they don't really have that business background. Like they don't understand that they're bleeding so much money. They're, they think, oh, Twitch has the best interface, Twitch has the best best emotes. But that's still not a business uh savvy or that will convince in the business, convince people in the business perspective that it'll survive. So when it closes down, these Twitch streamers are gonna scramble. Oh shoot, where will I go? Where will I move? Then mm-hmm. they will learn the hard way when they move to YouTube that they need to make videos. Cause yeah, I know I I don't I hardly get any viewers in my YouTube streams. I know that because I I stream to make videos. I don't stream to get more viewers. So mm-hmm. uh, the, Twitch a lot of Twitch streamers are gonna learn the hard way that they need to make videos alongside just playing video games. Because a lot of people True. in the video game they just oh if I stream twelve to fifteen hours a day I'm gonna make it big and. Lo and behold, they keep doing that, and they they still have the same following. They still have the same viewership. They don't realize that they have to be more than that. So yeah, Twitch. Tw- in the end of the day, I I've been going on for so long. Twitch is a sinking ship. Do not um if you're gonna start sub content creating, start on YouTube, start on Rumble, start on Kick. Do not start on Twitch. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.